Okay, everybody, this lesson is Estimate Differences. So this is lesson 1.8 in our book. And so uh, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at, at www.mrmathblog.com. Okay, so our common core strand is giving there, and we're, we're using place value understanding and properties of operation uh, to perform multi-digit arithmetic. So our essential question is, how can we use compatible numbers and rounding uh, to estimate differences. So here we're not getting an exact answer, we're estimating, you guys. So, so Ben has a collection of 387 stamps. His brother has a stamp collection of 436 stamps. About how many uh, more stamps does Ben's brother have than Ben? Okay, kind of a tongue twister there. So does the question ask for exact answers? Well, no, it says right here about how many. So uh, it doesn't ask for exact answers. We're going to um, uh, get an estimated answer. So circle the numbers that we need to use. So we need to use this number and this number right here. So let's go ahead and circle those right there. Okay, and then uh, so we can use, uh, estimate to find about how many more in, uh, his brother has than Ben. So one way is we'll use compatible numbers. Okay, let me slide that up there. So uh, compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to compute mentally and are close to the real numbers. So for example, 436, it, um, we can uh, change that to the compatible number. That's close to 425. Okay. It's close to 450 also, but it's closer to 425 than it is to 450. Okay, and then 387, it's close to 400, but it's also close to 375, and it's a little closer to 375, okay? And then so, um, uh, then we can subtract 425 minus 75, and can you think how much that is? That's going to give us 50 right there when we subtract right there. And I subtracted. I did 5 minus 5 is 0. And then 2 minus 7, I couldn't do it. So I borrowed from this 4 and made it a 3. And then this 2 became a 12. So here's my 12 right there. And then 12 minus 7 is this 50 right here. Okay. All right. So Ben's brother has about 50 more stamps than Ben has, okay? All right, so what other compatible numbers could we have used right there? Well, we could have changed them to, um, we could have rounded, and, that, and they're probably not compatible numbers. We rounded to the tenth right here. Since um, uh, this number is bigger than 5, then that would round this up to a 4. And since this number is bigger than 5, that would round this up to a 9. And we put zeros after our rounded numbers right here. And 440 minus 390 is also 50. So we get about 50 right there. Or we could have changed them to, uh, uh, rounded them to the compatible numbers of, of 50s, you guys. So this rounds to 450. This rounds to uh, 400 right here. So this one's, this is closer to 450 than it is to 400. And this one's close to closer to uh, 400 than it is to 350. So if we changed them to these compatible numbers, we would have got 50. Or we could have changed them to the compatible numbers of hundreds. This is closer to 400. This is closer to 400. And we get zero as the difference right here. So uh, we know it's not zero, so we'll, we won't use that one right there. This one is uh, is not as uh, uh, accurate as as probably this one over here. But these get these three all give us about 50 right there. Okay. All right. Let's try this, you guys. Let's estimate using compatible numbers. Okay. So 73 rounds to 75, so it looks like we're rounding to um, uh, 25. So this one's going to go to 25 right here. So 22 is close to 25. When we uh, subtract those, we get 50. So 73 minus 22 is about 50. Okay, let's do that here. This one goes to, it rounds to 150. So this one's going to round to 375. Those are compatible numbers. And then 375 minus 150 is 225. We can just subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. And then 3 minus 1 is 2 right there, okay? All right, so let's uh, let's use uh, place value for another way. So place value, we're going to do uh, round these to place value. So 436 minus 387, okay. So let's round 436 to the nearest 10 right here, okay? So we're going to round it to the nearest 10, this, this 3. Is it going to stay a 3 or is it going to be rounded to a 4? Okay, so... Um, uh, so find the place in which we want to round. We want to round it to this uh, nearest 10. 
right here. So then we look to the right of that digit. So we're looking at this 6 right here. Okay. And then since uh, 6 is greater than 5, then this 3 digit is going to increase by 1. It's going to change to a 4. So then we'll write zeros after this. So this will become a 0. This will become a 4. So we're going to write 440 right there. Okay. All right. Now let's round uh, 387 to the nearest 10. So we'll just do the same thing. We're going to look at the number to the right at the 7 right there. And since 7 is greater than 5, then this 8 will get rounded up by 1. It increases by 1. So this is going to become a 9, and we're going to change this to a 0. So we're going to write 390 right there, okay? All right, let me just slide that over, and then the last step is find the difference of the rounded number. So 440 minus 390 gets us 50 right there. So 436 minus 387 ends up being about 50, okay? All right, so let's try this. Let's estimate uh, using place value to round. Let's keep going here. Okay, so we have 761 minus 528. Here's 642 minus 287. So we're going to round these ones to the nearest hundreds, you guys. Okay, so let's round these ones to the nearest hundreds. Okay, so 700 is closer to 800 than it is to 700. How about 500? Is it closer to 500 or 600? Well, 500 is closer to 500 right there. Okay, and this one got rounded up to 300 right here. Is this 600 going to be rounded to 600 or 700? Well, this is a little bit closer to 600 than it is to 700. Now let's just go subtract. 800 minus 500 gets us 300. And 600 minus 300 gets us 300. Okay, all right. So explain a different way we can uh, uh, round each number in that last example B to find a different estimate or another estimate. Okay, so here uh, what I did was is I rounded this uh, rounded this to uh, that this was um, what we did on on rounding it to the hundreds right there. Well, what if we rounded it uh, to the nearest tens right there? So if instead of rounding to the nearest hundreds right here, this one was 600 and this one was um, uh, 300, let's round this uh, to the nearest tens right here. So since this 2 is less than 5, then this 4 stays the same, and we change this to a 0, so it became 640. Since this, uh, we're going to round this 8 right here. Since 7 is greater than 5, then this becomes a 9, and this will become a 0. So 640 minus 290 gets us 350 right there. Okay, which one do you think is more accurate right there? Well, remember um, uh, back when we crossed off that one? That was when we rounded it to the nearest hundreds like here. Like here is the nearest hundreds right here. Here we rounded it to the nearest tens right here. When you're rounding to the nearest, uh, the smaller value, it, it tends to be more accurate. Not tends to be, it always is more accurate. So this one would be, uh, well, not always, but most always is more accurate. So the 350 is, is more accurate. In fact, I think it's 355, so is the exact answer right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.